Welcome back. Finally, in the previous video, we are done from authentication and we are back again to the uh, flow of the business and other requirements like the database and then the repositories and services. So, uh, right now in this video, we will be back to the application DB contact that we have started with at the beginning. We have already created it with the models and right now we are going to create the database. But before we proceed, here in the application DB context, uh, I have configured all the relationships between uh, the tables or the models, but I forget one of those, which is the relationship between the event and the wish list events. And thanks again for our friend Az for mentioning that in a previous video. As many property p dot events wish list events. Ah, sorry. Dot with one b dot event dot on delete delete behavior dot take no action great right now what we have to do is just to create the application db context and make sure that the database is fine so so right now we have to add reference for this project in the api project so let's right click on the models on the api click add project reference and choose the tickets basket dot models Click OK, and that's great. Right now, what we have to do is to add the DB context here and then add the migration and update the database. But before, let's add the connection string here in the app settings.json. Great, I'll add here a new object called connection strings. And within it, there's going to be a property called default connection. And the server I'm using is uh, SQL Express installed in my machine, so you can use uh, <coughs> any server you want. If you have the local DB, it's also fine. So SQL Express database equals tickets basket DB. Then I'm using the Windows authentication, so integrated security equals true. There is no username or password. Great, right now this is ready here. Let's Save this file and go back to the configure services. As you can see right now, after we will add the add database and we have this authentication and course, then we'll later on we'll have many services existing here. This function is going to be messy. So in the next video, we are going to make it more clear by moving all of this stuff to extension methods in an <coughs> service extension class. But for now, let's call add db context, which is the application db context here great and we have of course to move to sorry to configure the options and options dot use sql server great and here we have to pass two parameters first one is the connection string let's bring the connection string from the configuration dot get connection string and the name is default connection what basically this function get connection string is an extension method for the configuration. What it does, it, it goes and look within uh, the connection strings object existing in the app strings.json and fetch the property, the value of the property that of the name you specify here. Right now, because our application DB context in another uh, project here, and I'm going to apply the migration in this project, so we have to specify where to put the migrations. So to do this, we have to pass this one, another options, which is SQL options. And here we have SQL options dot migration assembly. Here we have to specify the name of the assembly that's going to owns or handle the migration. And basically, in this case, it's going to be, we'll put the migrations within the tickets basket.api here. So we can pass just tickets basket.api, just the name of it. And that's it. So right now, uh, when we add the migration, update the database, all the migrations will be added here. And you have specified this, again, to mention this, because um, the application db context and all this stuff is within another assembly. It's existing here, 
and we are calling the migrations and updating the database from this one. For this reason, we have to specify this. And that's it. Right now, let's go to the package manager console, choose the API here, and let's call add migration. Initialize or init migration, init migration like this, initial migration. Okay, I think, yeah, we have to install uh, first install package microsoft.entity framework core dot tools yeah, which contain the comments here okay or yeah i think uh, just we need the tools so let's uh, right now call the add migration again for the initial migration set enter okay that's great okay cool so here we have the migration that contains all the tables and the configuration of that tables that's a great now let's call the update database to apply that migration great the database has been created successfully and the migration has been applied so let's move right now to SQL server to make sure that everything is working fine and the database has been created the way that we wanted it to be okay so right now I am within the SQL Express instance if I open the databases here I'm going to see the tickets basket DB and that's a great our database has been created but to make sure I will create a new database diagram and then I will click yes okay I will add all the tables here click add close great so this is a full diagram of our database created from the SQL and the database is exactly like what we want it to be. Here we have the user profile, one to many with the event, the events one to many with event images and event tags, also event uh, tickets and this user profile one to many with event tickets. Here we have two relationships between user profile and job applications one to many one to many so it's many to many within the user profile itself the table again it's many to many between user profile and events for the wishlist events and for the likes as well so our database has been created perfectly exactly the way we want so that's everything for this video right now the next video what we are going to do is just to move all the functions existing here into an extension methods so in this way we keep this uh, file clean uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.